Video is now police evidence thanks to a man who uploaded video of his own crime. It was titled, From Colorado Springs to Denver in 20 Minutes. Ain't no way that thing goes 60, for real? Man, it feels good to be back on this thing, dude. It really does. We'll be having many Mondays in no time, brother. I'm going to get on my way. Good to see you, bro. Oh, Cottonwood Park. <laughs> what do we got here? No alcohol, no open fires, no littering. Well, I guess all that stuff uh, is permitted here because it's all crossed out. But what is up, guys? It is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636. Coming here on my 636. Yes, the bike that had just gotten run over out in California. God bless her soul. She's got a couple boo-boos on her. We'll get into that in a little bit. Today, I want to talk to you about the world's most wanted motorcyclist at this moment. He is a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, and a guy that I watch his videos. I am a consumer of his videos. I am talking about Jixer Bro. Currently, he has a warrant out for his arrest out of a different state than his own, and it's a multi-jurisdictional case. And I really want to get into the nitty gritty of what's going on here. As somebody who has been on YouTube for a long time, somebody who has also been through the judicial system as far as writing goes, I think I have a pretty unique perspective on this case and I've read into it quite a bit. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is going to be my first time riding the 636 ever since the rebuild. As you can see, it has a new subframe, a new sub cage, a new 12 bar, a new rear rim, a new handbrake. I finally got rid of that whole Hey Designs handbrake and went to an NDC Customs with the monoblock on it with a 250 five millimeter rotor uh, i just had to replace a lot of things and while i was replacing things i had to go back to my rsc clutch lever and a 16 millimeter brembo so i have a lot more brake on this thing than i'm used to this shinko feels like absolute ass so don't judge me too hard on my wheelies today uh, i popped one up on the way here and it just did not feel very good but let's scoot out of cottonwood park and go talk about the bra himself man there's a lot of people serving out here Summertime shy, man. There's a really active block over here. We're gonna get served out the window. It's one of those ones you just keep on moving. All right, before we get to his warrant and his arrest and the whole situation of what's going on currently with my good friend Jixer Bra, let's give you a little bit of background on him. Jixer Bra quickly became one of the fastest growing moto vloggers on the platform with not only some of the big stunt rides that uh, we were both attending at the time, but what really set him apart is his speed run. These were very Ghost Rider-esque type of videos. Here comes another bunch of people serving, man. Holy shit. And it really became a unique person on YouTube. I started even watching his videos as it brought me back to some of my days of when I was going fast on the highway, but I do have to say he takes it to a whole nother level. My guy's lane splitting well over triple digits. And even if you just watch one of these videos, I promise you, if you're a human being with a heartbeat, it will rise because the risk that is inherently there is uh, is very real, especially for the rider, who I worry about. I love you, buddy. So his rise to fame and stardom and infamy, because really he's just a, an infamous rider, really did come to light with uh, with some of those speed runs, man. Speed runs and a couple of the, his date videos. He'll take a girl out on a date, bring him on the back of a super fast bike, bring him out for some really good food, and uh, it's a good vibe, you know? Obviously, what he does is inherently dangerous, but once again, as a rider, at those kind of speeds, I really do feel like he's just kind of endangering himself. Now, in one of the news articles that I read about this, when uh, he was asked for comment about why he does the speed runs and stuff, he even said, because YouTube is really cracking down on the stunt riding um, content over on the platform, which I 100% understand. I mean, YouTube does not like wheelies. They don't like any of the dangerous stuff. And I, and I got it. So his way of getting around that is to go very fast. Man, it feels good to be back on this thing, dude. It really does especially after being such a horrific accident. <laughs> so I think we're about caught up with Jixer, bro. He's got a little over a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. He's blowing up, he's doing these speed runs. And uh, he did a speed run, a pretty infamous one, from Colorado Springs to the Castle Rock area 
in Colorado. He did what is normally like a 45 minute to an hour drive in 20 minutes. And got a lot of people in the area really mad when this video started to blow up. They started to get pretty pissed about it. I guess pissed enough that it got brought to the attention of a detective with the Colorado State Patrol. This is basically their state police. This video is now police evidence thanks to a man who uploaded video of his own crime. It was titled, From Colorado Springs to Denver in 20 Minutes. Video shows him exceeding 170 miles per hour on I-25 between Colorado Springs and Denver. The viral video caught the attention of thousands of people, including Colorado State Patrol, who announced is now wanted on seven charges. This includes menacing, speed contest, and reckless endangerment. So apparently, the Colorado State Patrol put a full-time detective on this, uh, as this video did, really stir up some trouble as far as concerned Karens and stuff like that go. Now about four months later, so four months in between the original posting of this video and this warrant now being active on Jixerbra, and I'm going to put that in quotations really flimsily, Jixerbra, as we are going to get to this, for about a week now. It's all over the news, blown up, as uh, a motorcyclist is wanted in Colorado from his stunts on YouTube. Now, why do I say four months like that, and then on top of that, some of the charges, they're all, they're all misdemeanors, mind you. Four months, misdemeanors, I mean, something's just not really adding up for me here. And this is where we're going to get into some of the meat and potatoes. I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing the discovery on this case, which is, for anyone who hasn't, you know, doesn't know legal terms, is the evidence against... Jixabra, or the registered owner of that YouTube channel. Because in this video, as well as all of Jixabra's videos, there's no face, there's no tattoos, there's no time dates, there's nothing like that. So uh, I'm really curious on how they came up on this individual as the person that is riding this motorcycle in that video. Because my good guess here is that it's probably going to be the registered owner of the Gmail account associated to the YouTube, or maybe the AdSense account, or maybe the bank account of where this YouTube money is going. Something tells me that's going to be it. Well, and you might say, now Brian, oh, that makes sense. That has to be the guy in the video. Absolutely not. Everyone knows that millions of times a day, other channels upload other people's content. And on top of that, people do voiceovers on top of other people writing all the time. And most of these YouTube channels, including mine, have multiple people working on these videos. So why is that a problem? Well, in the court of law in the United States, a burden of proof has to be met for that person to not only be have a warrant out for his arrest, but it has to be beyond a reasonable doubt for him to be convicted. Now, four months, a detective came up with all this evidence on Jixerbra, who they released his, his full name. I'll let you guys look into that yourselves, or the you know supposed owner of the YouTube channel. And uh, four months to get some misdemeanors. Man, I hope there is little to no crime in the rest of Colorado to put a detective on, on this case for four months. And four months, man, to, to bring up some misdemeanors, I'm telling you, that's not gonna be a strong case. I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna be a strong case. One of our OGs here always says, these cases are like wine. The older they get and the longer they take to make, the sweeter they are. This thing's making a weird noise, man. I think the fan's rubbing on something here. Fan's making a weird noise. Hear it? Just don't sound right, but I just put this thing back together, so I might have to tighten up a fan. Nitro? No, it's just regular gasoline. Oh, this? No, this is a uh, steering dampener. So it'll control the wobbles when you're at like high speeds or whatever. So you can turn it up and turn it down like that. I just put it all back together, so I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not really sure. This? Was I in the Army? No, I was in the Marines, not the Army. Is you a, um, dude that like, yeah, you yeah, yeah, I'm all over the place in, in Chicago. <laughs> what up, brother? Good to see you, man. It's about that time. It's about that time. I like that, that uh, documentary you did on the hill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my good friend. I actually got my Marine Corps pants on today. Yeah. Yeah. Are you been posting shit like a mom? I appreciate it, man. Yeah. You got your bike ready? You know what? I just Add me on Instagram. Black Gang Members Glow. 
I won't, I won't, I won't edit it all. Keep it in there. Black gang member. We got it. We'll be having many Mondays in no time, brother. I'm gonna get on my way. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. <laughs> session in on accident. Good to see OGs from the neighborhood that recognize me like that too. It's pretty infamous uh, intersection back there, Madison and Pulaski. Alright, let me not get it off track because I got ADHD and you know I get off track. What was I saying? Yeah, the case. So like I was saying, something tells me in the dis discovery it's going to be something like a Gmail account, it's going to be something like a Google AdSense account, a bank account, something like that. And uh, yeah, well, I was saying about beyond a reasonable doubt and, and that having to be the conviction. Now, not only was this case taken four months, but it was a multi-jurisdictional case. The El Paso State's Attorney's Office, the Colorado State Patrol, and the Dallas Police Department, which I'm guessing, you know, somewhere around where Jixabra lives currently, helped in locating the owner or, you know, possessor of this YouTube channel. I've been through similar things like this, and this is why the saying and I know you guys have heard it, no face, no case is a real thing. Because when you get this case in front of a jury in Colorado, and you say, yeah, this is the guy who owns the YouTube videos, or this is the guy who receives the payment for the YouTube videos, we can't say for sure if he was in that video or not because there's no face, there's no tattoos, or no, 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 nothing like that. I'm gonna say 99% of the time they're not gonna find him guilty. And on top of that, he's still not arrested. I, I just talked to him. Um, I just talked to the real Jixabra. He's doing just fine. It's just a, it's an interesting premise. But this is what I really want to get to. At the end of that uh, news article that I read, I think it was from the Vale Daily, and this is one I knew it was the real Jixer brother they were talking to. It really spoke on his character. They asked, what are you going to do if you get arrested? What are you going to do if your whole YouTube channel gets shut down? What are you going to do? The Patreon's gone. All this stuff's gone. What are you going to do? And you know what he said? He said, I will look forward to the next adventure life gives me. And that really does speak to his character. Because as a man, that means that you're not going to keep this guy down. It's, you're not going to keep him down. You could take all of his bikes from him. You could take everything from him. And he's going to keep getting back up. And he's going to look forward to what life has to offer next. If motorcycles have something to do with it or not, that's, you know, most likely. Because <laughs> I think he loves motorcycles that much. But... It's that I'm not going to stop, I'm not going to quit attitude. And I think that's pretty predominant in the stunt community as a whole. That's why we have guys out here with one leg. That's why we have guys out here with multiple surgeries. That's why we have guys out here with rap sheets this long. And they're not allowed to leave the state, but they're still making these out-of-town rides. It's because they genuinely love what they do. Going down the, run, the one way, huh, buddy? Cop going the wrong way. So I really like that, man. I think that spoke a lot about him as a man and his character and stuff is that there's another hurdle that he's probably going to have to face, you know, down the line, whether that's, you know, today, this month, next year, whenever, it's another hurdle. And I think he's going to do it with a smile on his face because he genuinely loves what he does. What do we got here? <laughs> what is that? Why? Oh, my good God. It goes 60? Ain't no way that thing goes 60, for real? That's your brake right there? Oh man, that's beautiful. That's your foot brake. That works, oh yeah, that works. You got a YouTube channel, my boy, I see you got a GoPro. I do, I do, I do. What's your YouTube channel? Brian636. I'm gonna subscribe to you. I appreciate it, man. Oh, that's cool, hell yeah. To other YouTubers as well. Oh, you're on YouTube? Yeah, I, I got my own YouTube. Oh, you gotta let us know what your channel is, bud. Yeah, my, uh, Louis Garage. Louis Garage, okay, cool. We'll have to check you out, man. Yeah, there you go. Appreciate it, bro. Right there. Oh, this is your, oh, okay, okay. Okay, something like that. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my dog. Alright, man, be careful out here, alright? 
Be easy. Look at that. Chicago Ave and Ridgeway Ave. Healthy, peaceful community. Safety zone. There's a safety zone over here if you didn't know. Speaking of safety zone, this uh, gas station right here was the spot of probably one of the most infamous shootings last year just because of everything around it. A guy with an AR-15 ran up on two guys right there, killed one, wounded another. But that's not what made it so infamous. It's the fact that the mayor shut down this gas station for months. Jesus Christ. Safety zone, man. Why are you driving like that? The mayor shut down the gas station for months until the gas station hired its own private security and I guess is not making any profit anymore, but they're staying open. Pretty crazy premise. Throw one set of straight line in here. Try out this new bike. 16 is a lot of brake for me, man. I went from a 14 to a 16 and it's just, it's a lot. Lots of control. Let's see if we jump the spreader. Maybe scrape it. Oh, yeah. Feels good, man. Does not feel bad. Just getting used to it again. So guys, what I'm basically doing this video for is giving you a perspective from the devil's advocate. Everyone else is, you know, this guy is screwed. This guy's And in reality, I don't think you could be farther from the truth. I think my boy is still just perfectly fine. I think when they pick him up, as long as, you know, he doesn't open his mouth and say, yeah, that's me. Da, 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 da. If he just says, you know, I'd like to see my attorney. This sounds serious. I don't think this is a good idea for me to make comment on right now. I think he's going to be just fine, or whoever they, they arrested, whether that's, like I said, the editor, the producer, or the writer. I don't know which one. Could just be the voiceover guy. Once again, beyond a reasonable doubt, and uh, I don't think the burden of proof is met here. <laughs> she just laughs. <laughs> Talk about Jason, but I want to go fast! <laughs> <laughs> all right ladies gentlemen boys and girls you guys already know I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video from uh the devil's advocate from somebody who has been through the system from somebody that has personal experience in this i know i was one of his first phone calls by the way <laughs> so for all you guys out there respect life like comment subscribe do all that good stuff for mr jixer bra himself in case i haven't already told you mouth shut attorney don't want to talk you're gonna be just fine, buddy. At the end of the day, too, these are just misdemeanors, my my friends. This is, this is nothing even too serious. So my boy's gonna be just fine, and uh, we will continue to see him on YouTube for years to come. That is my uh, foreseeable future. Shout out to all you guys out there. We are coming up on one freaking million subscribers. I cannot believe that. That is mind blowing. That is mind numbing. I don't understand where these people are. Who are you people? It's just crazy. Truly blessed, man. I, I, I have to wake up every day and tell myself how blessed I really am. But as always, guys, your least favorite moto vlogger signing out, telling y'all respect life, love one another, and uh, hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Peace.